Hi, this is a demo for Clusterizer, the affinity clustering plugin from Miro. My name is Max with Refractive Strategy. We invented this app to help visualize an affinity cluster, connected thought, concepts that are overlapping, collaborative tasks, conversations with overlapping topics, and so on. So the way that it does this is it connects your tagged items in Miro together and visualizes them as a network. So let's take an example. Here we've got a list of fruits and plants, and we've got the following tags we've been using. So some of these are fruits. So the red ones, the red uh, tags are all the things that are fruit. Then green is for tropical, yellow is for citrus, and you'll see that uh, all the citrus things are also tropical. And the banana is fruit and tropical, but it's not citrus. The orchid is tropical, but it's not a fruit or citrus and so on. So to populate this into clusters using the, the app, what we're going to do is we can pre-select and then open the app. Uh, when you first install it, it'll be here under the dot, dot, dot in what's called the, the tool library. You can drag and drop it into the toolbar right there and then uh, and click. But you can, you, can, you can click into it from the tool library. Okay, when it opens up, it'll, it'll go ahead and in, import your, your tags and your objects. And you'll see what we have here is each of these tags is now a circle and citrus, fruit, and tropical are represented. And then each of the sticky notes or cards, which had those tags, is connected by a line and a force. And if we pull these tags apart, they'll pin into location. We can scroll around this canvas, this preview canvas, and we can zoom out. And what you see is these clusters emerging. This is the cluster of all things that are only fruit. These things right here that only have lines to fruit. And these are all fruits too, everything coming out by those lines, but these are the ones that are only fruit. These are clearly the ones that are fruit, citrus, and tropical. So in here, we'll have all of our citrus. We've got our lemons scrolling over. You can read them, limes, pineapple, and so on. This, of course, is our banana because it's tropical and fruit, but not not uh, citrus. And then over here, we've got orchid, which is tropical, but not citrus or fruit. Okay. So what we do is now that we've got our network teased apart and we can see our clusters, what we do is come back to the board, switch to our hand, drag into an open space and hit build. The app will build into the open space and you can go ahead and then deselect and start editing its layout furthermore in the Miro board. You now have replicas of the originals. So these originals remain in their location and they re remain unaltered. And then you have these new replicas with these clusters. And you'll notice the app keeps updating on new selections in the background. I can close that to make the visual a little less busy. And now we've got clusters that we can then work with and analyze, which is much easier to now look at and organize these clusters than it was to look at this set of items and try to work it out by yourself. Let's take another example. And this is a sample brainstorm of a, of a full team at, let's say, a strategy retreat where we have the business team, the business you know, interest, the tech interest, and the user interest, uh, those involved with user experience, those involved with the development, DevOps, and the technical side, and then those involving the business, counting the beans, taking care of the money. Let's say we've used cards, we've used sticky notes, we've made sticky notes different colors. The colors, the sizes, the cards, and the sticky notes will all be brought into our simulation and wanted to show you what it looks like with a few more items. So we'll open up Clusterizer. It automatically ingests those that are here. And again, in this scenario, what we want to do is uh, pull apart the tags. And this gives you the ability to kind of shape it how you want. And of course, you can always re-edit it once it's over on the Miro side. And what we'll do is we'll click onto the canvas, switch to our hand tool. Let's find an open space where we can build this one. And we'll press build. And here we are. The size that the note gets created at when it's created by Clusterizer is the exact size of its original. Okay, So these ones are the same size as their originals up and over here. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there's a lot more in these clusters, but still you can see you can see distinct clusters and you can kind of navigate accordingly. And if we were in fact at this strategic retreat in the morning, let's say we did all this kind of divergent thinking to see to understand 
you know, what were all the topics we may need to discuss, things that were on the horizon for the future issues that were pressing. We could organize it in this fashion and say, okay, this afternoon, what are we going to talk about? The tech team and the user team needs to have this discussion. And while they have that discussion, the business people can work on the topics that only concern them as the tech team and the business team talk about these issues, the user team can go off and talk about the things on their end. And lastly, vice versa. So you can kind of even see geometric ways to manage collaborative conversations and overlapping concepts. Your instructions are here. They'll help guide you in building using Clusterizer and happy Clusterizing. Hope this helps.